Welcome to IdeaGen TV. We are ecstatic to have with us Dr. Nicole Hare, who is changing the world, leading the way, and we'll be talking about that during this interview. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. How are you? We're so excited to be having this conversation today on IdeaGen TV because it's a it's a moment in the world, and you've come from an incredible background. MIT, you got to give a shout out to MIT. Love it. You're an MIT <laughs> grad, you're leading the way in cosmetic dermatology, leading the way. And I'm wondering what is the focus for this year in 2023 for you and the Cosmetic Dermatology Center? Well, we have a lot of things going on at the Cosmetic Dermatology Center. We have some new equipment coming in and I'm actually doing some studies for different laser companies, so that's exciting. Unfortunately, I can't talk about the details yet, um, but we also have some equipment coming out of studies, so the, they will be launched soon. So some very exciting things. Always exciting things, but I know one of the most exciting things I've seen with your leadership uh, is a, a product that I, I talk a lot about because I think it, it plays into the well-being of individuals uh, potentially across the planet, right? called Qtocin that you developed. Of yeah. course, you went to MIT, <laughs> you developed Qtocin. Tell us a little bit about, and for our global audience, the millions of people that are watching, what is Qtocin? So Qtocin is uh, one of my babies, uh, and um, it has been a labor of love, if you will. And it really started out because I've been in practice for 20 years, and I've gotten to know my patients really well. And um, sometimes someone will come in who I know very well it's been through the years and i'll notice a distinctive change in their skin and it's not how they look or the the smile on their face or the frown on their face or their demeanor but there's a difference in their skin and um, it usually correlates with their love life so if their skin looks plump and beautiful and vibrant all of a sudden they're telling me they got engaged they found someone uh, and the opposite if it's depleted and sallow all of a sudden um, I find out their husband suddenly died or they were left in the lurch or something, you know, something sad. And it got me thinking about it. And one day I had an epiphany and I said, this is oxytocin. This is the love hormone, right? Because when it's present, don't we look great? And when it's taken away, all of a sudden things change. And so I started doing some digging and I wound up doing a pilot study and I was able to show a clinical correlation between the level of oxytocin and how good someone's skin looked. And this was published as the lead article in a peer-reviewed journal, Journal of Drugs and Dermatology. And then it was in Dermatology Times. And then it was actually- Of course it the, was. Yeah. And then it was one of the top stories in dermatology as uh, per Dermatology Times of 2021. And uh, I had the pleasure of talking about my research at the United Nations with Idea Gen Global. And um, it's been fantastic. The message has really, you know, uh, resonated, if yeah. I should say, with my patients. They love it. Um, and so what I did, because I'm a researcher and I'm a dermatologist, I thought, well, how can I create this effect in the skin? What can I do to create this? And I found a botanical. And this botanical has been used in... Um, midwifery for centuries, but has never really been used like this. Oh, wow. And so now it's a patent pending ingredient in every um, product in the line, Qtocin. And um, incredible. That's Qtocin. Well, it would take Dr. Nicole Hare to come up with something like this that's <laughs> been used, but you're repurposing it for the masses exactly. to be able to help folks feel better. It all goes back to uh, our profound conversation with Roll Andrews, Executive Director of the APAF, who talked about the importance of mental health. And this is all part of a, a continuum, right? Everything's connected. And, and so how do you approach patient care maybe differently than others in your field? Well, um, actually multiple ways, I would say, because I, um, for instance, I've been looking at, um, you know, more of the whole body system, I think, than a lot of other physicians uh, for a long time. Um, I've been aware of the importance of vitamins and probiotics for many, many years before it kind of became trendy. 
Um, I also look at things with a, you know, a very science driven angle right. because of my background. So I'll really hyper analyze things. You know, how's this really going to work? Mm -hmm. What is it safe? Would I do it? Would I do this to myself? Um, so, you know, that's, you know, a little bit of a different approach. And I think a lot of the um, people who come to me really appreciate that because they feel that they're in good hands. It's a little safer maybe because I am so critical of, of new things that are coming to market. Well, and that's what you see, I think, in the medical, medical profession and, and any profession as, you know, the, the amount of information out there, there's just so much. Where do you begin, right? And you're obviously a trusted source and provider of information because you're vetting it, you're reviewing it, and you're not only doing that, you're developing products like Utosin that are helping to change the world with making and helping people feel better. Yes, they, they really respond to Utosin, I have to say. I mean, I've never seen such a strong response to a skincare line before. I've been selling them in my office for 20 years. And after the pandemic, um, when I had just started selling Cutosin, there were a couple of times we had supply issues and we would run out. And some of the women who came in who ran out of their product would come in and I'd say, I'm sorry, it's going to be a couple of weeks. You know, we're still waiting on the shipment and they panic. I mean, sheer out panic. I've never seen anything like it before. Because and they felt so good with it. They felt so good right. with it and they had such a good response. And then when the product would come in, they would literally buy three at a time to Just make so sure that they wouldn't run out again. <laughs> it was fantastic. So I knew it was uh, something that was really affecting them. Well, and, you know, that's, you know, part of the leadership, you know, being leaders lead, as they say. And I think that, again, with your education and your experience in the field and, and the day to day engaging with individuals and hearing what it is that they need and are looking for. Ultimately, I guess folks are looking to just feel good, right? To feel better about themselves, to be happy and all that. And They are. And I think that part of the uh, really interesting thing about my research is that it's kind of uncovered and almost validated a little secret that especially women kind of always knew. And they kind of always knew that these things affected them more than just their feelings. It affects their body, it affects how you know, they physically feel and look. And when I tell this story and the, the background to the research uh, behind Cutosin, I've had women literally jumping out of the chair excited, you know, because they're like, yes, they're, they're so excited that someone has validated what they've right. secretly always known. Right. And, and, and again, it goes back to the fact that, that you intentionally and, and with a lot of research developed this product of many, right? You're leading the way. And so you're not only a doctor, but you're an entrepreneur, right? I mean, this is an entrepreneurial endeavor, which marries your education, your business acumen, et cetera. And, you know, really honing in on having developed the, the focus on being a trusted source for information, you then developed a product based on all of the research you had. So it didn't just happen, right? It, it was based yeah. on literally decades of experience that you have uh, that have led to this. And so uh, we stand in awe by that. I, I think it's yeah. always incre incredible. Um, could your discovery have implications? And I think we touched on this a little bit. Could it have implications a little bit beyond or beyond in general dermatology? It actually does. It's very interesting. So when I was looking at this, you know, why would the body have um, respond to oxytocin to make the skin beautiful and healthy, right? It's almost like a, almost a frivolous thing, right? What, what's it doing? And, and the body doesn't like to waste energy, right? We're an efficient machine, if you will, yeah. and an efficient organism. And so um, I looked into it and there's preliminary research in every system in the body showing a positive effect when oxytocin is present. So in your cardiovascular system, your pulmonary system, your GI tract, everything has a positive effect from oxytocin. So when I was writing up my, um, my paper to submit to that journal, I was thinking, well, what's going on here? This is very interesting. And it hit me. 
this is a system. This is actually a system in our body, right? So we have an oxytocin social exchange system. So I coined that term because I feel that this is where, you know, the more interaction you have with someone, the more positive interaction, the healthier you are, the better you feel, the more vibrant you are, and that'll attract more attention. So there's this positive feedback loop in a way, right? right? right. Where um, it helps you to get through life. And if you think about, you know, it probably helped survival when we weren't as developed as a race, right? No, that's right. That's right. And so um, as a final call to action, what would you tell the millions of people that are watching this interview uh, about your discovery, about the discovery, about the product, and about the future? Well, I think that especially coming off of the times of the pandemic, it really hits home that it's important for us to connect. It's important for people to connect, put the phones down, put the computers away and sit and connect with one another and you know have some special time with your family um, or your loved ones or your friends. And I think we need to really try to put that into our daily lives a little bit more. And when you do, you'll feel better and everything just seems to go a little smoother and you make better decisions that way too, I think. Well, that's wisdom. Dr. Nicole Hare, how can folks find out more about you and about Qtocin? Well, I have a couple of websites. So cosmeticdermatologycenter.com and then qtocin.com. And we have some very interesting uh, information on there. So please check it out. Dr. Nicole Hare, Changing the World. Thank you so very much. Thank you so Thank much. You.